Hello everyone. I'm ready to go to court today. Today is a pre-trial conference for the NECA versus Aulani Kai Hui um, civil case in which they said that I was part of their community association. After 45 years, they disregarded my property as not being part of the community association. So I'm ready today. This is how I'm gonna go to court today. In a skirt, suit, flowers in my hair to impress the judge. These are leftover flowers I had from my bouquet from my birthday. So I figure I use them for my hair for court. <laughs> I like my pearls. <laughs> you know, gives that little touch. So anyways, wish me luck and success because we have this case has now become uh, three cases we have three different judges involved we have a criminal case we have a civil case and we have a land court case now it's been five years and um, I think somebody has to do something it's time so we're putting the pressure on the judges now because because when you have three judges them wondering what the other judge is going to say and how they're going to rule and how it will affect the other judges ruling it gets complicated and they and the three judges they have to all con sync synchronize with each other um it can't be conflicting they all have to be in agreeable um i just found out that um i just got the video in which the newtown estates um employees assaulted me so that's the criminal case and that was a result of them harassing me numerously and then um i confronted them and then the lady came out and assaulted me and then they said that i assaulted her and that i attacked her and then in the video after the attack it shows her attacking me then she's over there bawling and crying trying to get some sympathy so we have that on video and that's the criminal case and it kind of weighs in on the civil case and the land court case so i'm ready i've been pushing for trial because i know that when you push for trial it gets the case done and over with and then you move on so if i'm guilty if i have to abide by the rules of the covenants of the community association then let it be um, let it be uh, ruled let it be ordered and then I move on okay if I'm not then let me sue them get my let me get me my damages and it's a lot of damages five years of postponement of a of a development now this is a development we're talking about a real estate development so stay tuned folks today is pre-trial day and I will be leaving soon to head on down to um, Alakea Street, 5th floor in front of Judge Crabtree. And we'll see if we're going to go to trial or if it's going to be another continuance. Because it's going to be another continuance because we want to see what the land court judge is going to say. See how they just continue on with each other. And then the land court judges want to see what the, um, what the civil court judge is going to say. And then the criminal court wants to see what the civil court is going to say. So... That's why it doesn't get anywhere. But we're moving now because we've got three judges. And three judges are on this. I mean, what a small little case starting from a frivolous violation of having a barbecue grill in my backyard or a, um, or a picnic table or an outdoor toilet, porta potty. Um, for those things, I was getting violated for. Oh, and personal items. Come on. You have personal items on your property? It must be removed, is what they said. So, how far is too far? Three judges now. $200,000, maybe $300,000 in attorney fees from all sides of parties. And lots of time wasted. So let's put an end to this. I think 2018, this was 